Hello everybody and welcome to Behind the Scenes of Battle on the Boot. I'm going to take you step by step and teach you every effect that I used in this video. And at the end I'll include a short explanation on how I made the lightsabers. To start off with, the softwares that I used were Fonica Pro and Adobe Photoshop. The first major effect I used in this video was the jump. On the day of production I had my actor jump where he was, I took a freeze frame, and then masked him out using Photoshop. Next I had him run down to the bottom and perform his landing. However, once I put it all together, it didn't look good at all, as you can see. Therefore I tried plan B, green screen. In order for him to look like he fell a certain amount of distance, I had to slow him down about 30%. Next I keyed the green out, cropped, and placed him on my footage. After keyframing him down, it looked really good, but it was missing something, so I added dust. Next, I get my head blown off. Now here's the original footage. As you can see, no practical effects were used. Next I took my clean plate and masked frame by frame over my head. Then I added the laser, the explosion, and last, the blood. This is basically the same thing. I took my clean plate, masked out the part that I wanted, and placed it on my footage. The next effect you're going to be learning today are the appearances of the two Jedis, David and Yair. For these two clips, the same clean plate effect was used. This is my original footage, so let me just speed this up a bit because once my actors walk out of frame, I use this as my clean plate, mask out where I want, feather which is very important so that it looks like it blends, and then I take my feathered mask and place it on top of David. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay, and as long as your other actor doesn't walk behind the mask, it looks great. Next is Yair's crazy kick. Wow. David went flying. Fun fact for you guys, Yair is actually a, a very high level black belt in Taekwondo. Just saying. Anyway, here's the original footage. I first masked out David. And then I took a freeze frame of where I wanted and masked him out using Photoshop. And all there was left to do was keyframe him to fly out of the frame. And I used the same exact method for when Yair flies back. Next we have moving the rock by using the force. Okay, hit the tripod over there. Anyway, that was my first method which did not work out. What I wanted to do originally was mask myself out frame by frame so the rock looked like it's moving by itself. However, that didn't work out so my second attempt was mask out the rock using Photoshop and keyframe it to look like it's flying at the camera. That did work out so I used the same exact method for the rock that David deflects. I found a cool looking rock outside my house, took a picture of it, masked it out and keyframed it to fly at David. Then I add some motion blur to add some more realism. At the point of contact I made it split and then added a lens flare to sell the effect. Go, go, go! The only reason this scene took me a long time was because I had a lot of layers and a lot of effects that went into this. The first, of course, is color correcting and color grading to make it look really nice. Next, I had the crack in the wall. This took me a while because I had first design the crack and then make it expand when he hits the wall. Next, I added a spark to fly out and some rubble to fall on them. Then I added some more rubble to fall in the middle and more rubble on either side. Then of course the lightsaber, and some sound effects, and that's the final clip. Next I have the scene where the lightsaber flies out between the rocks when Yair uses the force. What I would normally do is tie a string to the lightsaber and pull. However, I didn't have string, but luckily I did have duct tape, so that's what we used. And the way this works is I take a clean plate and place it over the duct tape. However, it starts getting tricky once the lightsaber starts moving because I have to keyframe the clean plate to only go over the duct tape and not over the lightsaber itself.
kind of getting electrocuted. So here's original footage. However, once I added in the lightning, something still didn't look right. So I, I knew I had to do something with Hana, like either show her skeleton or change her color. Therefore, I'm, I took a freeze frame, mastered out in Photoshop, brought it into Final Cut, and put the negative preset on her. And lastly, I added some motion, and that's about it. For the hand being cut off, I tried many effects, but the majority of them didn't work. For example, I threw a fake arm over Yair's head, but I thought that would look cool, but it didn't look cool in the end. The next thing I tried was I took the fake hand that I threw and just had not done chop at it. But really, it did not look cool at all, so my third try, which did work in the end, was having Yair's hand out of the frame and just adding blood afterwards. For this, I used an old trick in film, which is putting things in reverse. So that was the original take, so I just put it in reverse, slowed it down a bit, color corrected and added in the lightsaber. Here's the original footage, so I first masked out my actor right when he jumped. Then I took a freeze frame of him and masked him out using Photoshop. Then I keyframed him to fly back. So for the lightsabers, I first had everybody come to my house and we choreographed fight scenes on different nights. However, Natan wasn't available, so I had to practice with Hana, and on the day of the shoot, Hana taught it to me. And take a look on how much David and Yair improved over a half an hour of learning the fight scene. So after I finished the final film, I brought over all my actors, and they were very pleased with the final result. So I promised you at the end I would explain a little bit about lightsabers. So basically, once you make the lightsaber in your editing software, you have to go frame by frame and line it up with the lightsaber. It takes a lot of time, but if you're ready to spend the time, the end result is m worth it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes, and while you're here, you might as well subscribe and check out my previous videos. You can check out the original video, Battle on the Blue, right here, or After Effects Tests, Horror Short Film, or no escape trailer. Again, thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And I have a lot of big projects coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to get notified. Thanks again.